Welcome to Warhawk Football, everybody! The dynasty continues here in week 11. The snow is falling here in Kalispell, Montana, as our Warhawks are set to meet the Oregon State Beavers. Again, starting at quarterback today is number 12, Roshan Phillips, who filled in nicely for Brandon Warren one week ago. He'll make one more start with Brandon Warren scheduled to return here after the bye week. Kalispell set to start with the football, and here we go! Week 11, underway in Kalispell. Here comes Marty Belafonte out of the end zone, trying to spin his way forward, and he's taken down before he can reach the 20. So Roshan Phillips takes the field with three touchdowns on the season, two interceptions, and two backs in the game to start. A quick dump off on first down, complete to Marcus Payne, who runs over a defender and picks up 13 yards. The running backs have been a huge part of the success this year with an outstanding ground attack. Now a floater to the outside, complete to number 86, Justin Payne, gain of seven. Single back now is Kyle Thomas. He'll run out to the right side, and there's nothing but Beavers in his way. Loss of two, setting up a third down. Three receivers in the game here in the shotgun. Roshan Phillips against the blitz, throws a quick hitter to Carl Joyce and they're unable to move the chains. Fourth down. This Oregon State offense scores more than Kalispell. 37.3 points per game, good for 15th in college football. Six and two on the season, the Beavers take over, and Daniel Glover throws a great pass to the boundary for Mark Terrell for a gain of 17. This offense is all about airing it out. Here's Glover, deep down the middle, and that gets broken up by Jamari Akinjide. What do we think about these blue face masks, everybody? I wasn't so sure about them, but I'm liking the look now. Third and eight, knocked down by Mario Townsend. That marks the end of this possession as well. Good start by the defenses. Warhawks take over, here's Phillips. Blitz picked up, but more rush coming as Phillips is flattened and barely got the pass off. Spreading out the offense again, third and 10. Phillips from the pocket over the middle and almost picked off by Albert Sykes. He's off to a good start today and the Warhawks will punt again. Defense is in control early. Oregon State takes over and here's the empty look for Glover. Gets pressure, airs this out and Terrell had his foot land out of bounds. That makes it third down. Kalispell brings some pressure off the edge, it's picked up. Glover launches the deep ball and connects with Tate and he'll race to the end zone. Touchdown. The speedy Anthony Tate goes 68 yards. This will happen to Oscar Bryant from time to time. It's like he gets caught guessing where the offense is going to go. It leads to undisciplined coverage. 7-0 Beavers behind a great defensive start and now the big play in the pass game. Phillips hands this one off. Marcus Payne running left. He outruns one defender and there's no one left. The speed of Marcus Payne will send him to the end zone. 65 yard touchdown. It's been all about the big run this year for Kalispell and that's the 10th time Payne has gone 20 plus. But give a lot of credit to Brandon Smith, the number one ranked high school tackle last year who cleared open that huge lane. Seven apiece after the big plays spark some offense. Glover on the keeper running left. He'll fight with Baker. And Akinjide helps out his counterpart. No gain. Third down and four. Single high is Chris Baker. Pressure gets through. And Glover's going to bail out of this one. He throws it away. Definitely had some chances downfield. Kalispell football again here in the first quarter. Phillips to the air. Under some pressure, he's gonna buy some time and throw this away, not wanting to take any chances. Kalispell really trying to clean up the turnover issues this season. On third and nine, Phillips protected, floats one outside, nicely done for Justin Payne. It's good for 16 yards. Payne still this team's leading receiver, over 540 yards receiving. Back to the ground, Kyle Thomas turns the corner, runs up the sideline, delivers a nasty stiff arm, another big run. Warhawks over 100 on the ground already, and there's Kyle Thomas, the senior with a stiff arm, setting up Kalispell inside the red zone. Dump off Thomas, left side again, pinballing his way inside the five. 
Three receivers in the game on third down. Phillips to throw, end zone, got it! Touchdown, Reggie Jackson! He comes in for Hayden John Charles once again here toward the end of a possession and capitalizes. 14-7 Kalispell as the offenses have awoken here in week 11. Now Terrell across the middle trying to get this Beaver offense going again. Third down and one. They bring some motion, run the draw in that direction, and Glover's not going to get it. It was an interesting idea, but Merrill shuts it down. Still in the first quarter, Warhawk ball, and here goes Kyle Thomas trying to cut back to the inside. He's held to only a gain of four. Third down here for the Warhawks. Empty backfield for Phillips. Throws it short, complete to Belafonte. Enough for the first down in Oregon State territory. And on we go to quarter number two. Warhawks now three of five on third down. Facing the blitz, Phillips rolls right. He's gonna send this downfield, and Hayden John Charles takes it out of the sky. First down. This took a perfect throw. Here's Phillips one more time. Only where Hayden John Charles can make the play. Very good ball placement out of Rashawn Phillips, and now in comes Dustin Payment, running some option. Here's a flip to Thomas, trying to get outside. He'll pick up five more. Warhawks bring Phillips back in the game on second down. Quick strike into the hands of John Charles, a touchdown. 20 to seven Kalispell as two tight ends score here early. This could be Hayden John Charles' last touchdown in Kalispell. That just kind of hit me. A 21-0 run for the Warhawks, and now plenty of pressure. Glover, is that a fumble? No, apparently not. Incomplete. Glover just three of nine passing. Facing the blitz on third down. It gets there! Glover is sacked! And they're giving the credit to Maurice Collins. Although I think Juno Springs definitely had a lot to do with this here on the cornerback blitz. Warhawks in control here in the second quarter. Three straight touchdown drives and watch out Marcus Payne. A loss of six here thanks to TJ Burke. This Oregon State defense trying to slow down this momentum. Second and long, airing it out. Got a man wide open, Justin Payne inside the 10. 51 yards. And Dustin Payment checks back in. It's a draw. Payment keeping. Almost got to the end zone. If he was more patient, he could have scored. Second and goal. Phillips tosses out to Kyle Thomas. A race to the corner. He bounces out of bounds after a short gain. Third down this time. They'll hand it off. Running up the middle. It's a touchdown again. Marcus Payne with number 10 on the season. It's been a big year for Payne after a lot of us had low expectations. 28 to seven, it feels like Kalispell has opened this up in no time. Oregon State was up seven nothing, they were feeling pretty good, but here come the Warhawks, they're so good at their home field. Third and six, over the middle of Bradley and he stopped shy of the sticks. This team is very good, they play sound defense. We've seen the scoring already. Here's Payment handing up the middle, and Marcus Payne's going to get six more first down. Rashawn Phillips checks back in. Now they hand it to Marty Belafonte, and the defensive line gets good penetration. So now a tougher third down. Beavers need a stop really bad. Phillips under pressure, throws it underneath. Here's John Charles spinning ahead. He almost got there. Fourth and inches, the offense remains in. Phillips under center. Hands it to Tolbert, who gets it done. The fullback dive. That extends this possession. They'll stay in the eye, but now they're throwing. Phillips has a wide open man. He found Reggie Jackson. This Oregon State pass defense is ranked 110th, and they're showing that here in the second quarter. Mid-screen, Carl Joyce, good tackle. Joyce had a bit of running room, closed quickly. Third and nine. They spread out this defense again. Phillips looking for another touchdown. Steps away from pressure and finds more of it. He is sacked by Brandon Montgomery. Three more for Kalispell. It's a 31-7 game. Just a few seconds until halftime now. Oregon State trying to get a little back if they can. 
Looks like they're set up to try a Hail Mary attempt. Here's Daniel Glover. Hit as he throws. It's incomplete with two seconds left. He's got to throw this a long way. He needs some time. And Kalispell blitzes. They're not going to give him the time. Glover sacked again. Boogie Turner back for another one. That's number 10 on the year. This looked like a potential low-scoring snowy matchup, but Kalispell changed that fast. Can the Beavers somehow get themselves back in this game? The Warhawks are rolling once again at home. Roshan Phillips has played an outstanding half of football, and perhaps this is the kind of game that can give Kalispell some respect in the top 25 polling. I don't think they've gotten it over the last month or so. Kalispell's defense is out here to start the second half, and they're still swarming to the football. Third and 12 for Glover. Got to get this away. He won't. Sacked again, Maurice Collins. What a year for the senior. I can't wait to see the accolades he could potentially get this season. The punt is sent away to Marty Belafonte. Should be good. Field position, and he muffed it and just falls on top of it. Missed opportunity there, but still great field position. Here's Phillips swinging this outside. Kyle Thomas spun ahead. Gain of around five yards. The Warhawk backs have again had an outstanding day. The big plays have been there. Marcus Payne carries on third down. He'll get just enough to keep the drive moving. Carl Joyce quiet today alone to the right side. Now first down, interior rush gets Phillips backpedaling and he's sacked for a 10 yard loss by Nathan Lester. Trying to dig out of this hole now. Phillips over the middle, a mid screen for Knightley. And he'll get this for about seven yards. Still third and long. Maybe a good play gets them in field goal range potentially. Phillips over the middle. Justin Payne is there. He doesn't convert. But they can send out Rick Thomas. This is about a 49, 50 yard try. And Payment puts it down. Thomas kicks it up and through. 34 straight points by the Kalispell Warhawks. This has been nothing like the meeting these teams had last season, which resulted in a 51-37 win for Kalispell. Nice throw here by Glover. He really has not had a very good day, but it also seems like his receivers aren't helping him out much. Dumped off here to Bradley, he's going to move the chains. But last year, Glover had 413 yards passing. He might get half that today. Glover on first down, gets another open look. There's Ross, who I thought would be a lot bigger problem for us. But for whatever reason, Mario Ross hasn't been targeted. On first down, again protected. Glover to the sideline. Ross again. Kalispell had 51 points in the game last season. Almost all that production came in the air. It's a much different offense this season. And it seems they're taking my advice now. Mario Ross. That's three possessions on this drive. Just trying to get a sense of positivity here. It's Bullock on the receiving end, and he is shy of the marker, and they're actually bringing out the field goal team. 34 to 10 as Oregon State ends the Kalispell run. Now up 24, finding daylight, Marty Belafonte! He's got one man to beat, and there he goes! 99 to the house! It's his first kick return touchdown of this season, the fourth of his great career. Belafonte now has five touchdowns in his career on offense and five on special teams. 41 to 10. Oh wow, what a hit on Anthony Tate as the Beavers take over, trailing by 31 points. This Warhawk team is definitely special and they slipped up once against Stanford. Kalispell still has a chance to win this division and compete for the national championship again if they have some things go their way. Here is Mark Terrell now for a gain of 10. What a home field advantage Kalispell has built here. It's a run on third down. Oh my, Jamari Akinjide. What a great game he's played. They'll attempt another field goal now from the right hash. This one's hooking and off the upright. It's no good. Bouncing back into the field of play. Warhawks take over. We're starting to see the backups enter once again. They have plenty of time now. It's a flip out to Austin Jenkins, who gets past one, and he's going to pick up nine yards. We've actually seen Jenkins play in a variety of games this season in garbage time. 
Third down and 12 now for Phillips. He's going to bail, and he's going to get sacked. So at last, the Beavers do get another stop, but they gave up a lot in between those stops. Still up 31 points. Here is a check down for Bradley. Oregon State obviously needs to go for it at this stage. Beavers come out in the I formation. It's a fullback dive, and they don't get it. Isaac Fuqua denied. I remember actually recruiting him here to Kalispell. Warhawk football, and here goes payment on the keeper with a block from Houston. Down the sideline, Dustin Payment. He's reached the bank. Touchdown. I can't wait to tally up all of the 20-yard runs this year and compare it to even a year ago. Kalispell has never ran the ball quite like this. 48 to 10, and the domination continues. There's Juno Springs. Just a handful of minutes left to go. Glover on third and 10 is gonna take a shot downfield. Here's the arm on display, and Juno knocks it down. This team is scary on defense. Offense gets it back, sweep right, Jenkins got the edge sealed, he'll pick up the first down and more. It's another 20 plus yard run, add him up, it's going to take a little while. Just a few minutes left, here's Payment once again breaking out the option, a pitch out to Marcus Payne, and yet another first down. They have wore out this Oregon State defense by controlling the clock and continuing to run. Payment keeps one more time and he'll be held to a four yard pickup. Third down and nine. Setting up more option, Payment to the right. Pitches to Jenkins, he's close and has another first down and this is gonna seal the game. What a win for Kalispell. Just a dominant showing here at home in front of their fans. It's their second to last home game this year. And they deliver another win, Kalispell, now nine and one on the year. They can rest up now over their bye week and prepare for a game on the road in Hawaii. Marcus Payne named the player of the week this time with only eight carries. Great win though, I love the way we ran the football today. Once we focused on it, it became unstoppable. I thought Rashawn Phillips played really well. Really enjoyed that floater for Hayden John Charles. That was probably my favorite play of the entire game. What was your favorite moment of this game? There were many to choose from. I also liked the part where Rashawn Phillips didn't throw an interception. That was a cool part. Another 200 plus yard rushing performance. Another amazing performance by the defense. When they can get pass rush and we can cover man to man, we're nearly unstoppable. It reminds me a lot of what the Denver Broncos were doing when they had their defense at the highest point. They were very good at those two things. We do add another player to the recruiting class this week with Ross Mastorovich from Billings, Montana, a high school we've had a ton of success recruiting from. They've helped us get the likes of Amante Jones. And with Mastorovich, we get a great tackling press man corner. He fits exactly what I'm trying to do with our defense. As we sim through the bye week, we prepare for a road trip to Hawaii. The 1 in 10 Rainbow Warriors will host us next time. I'm also thinking about letting Hawaii go back to the Mountain West because they're not really transitioning into the Pac-12 very well. They have a lot of trouble scoring points, and they've had three games this year where they've scored six points or less. Their lone victory was an upset over UCLA. That also came on the road. When we travel on the road, we know sometimes things can get out of hand. We'll see if Hawaii gives us a challenge next week. But as we look at the top ten now, Kalispell is up to number six. Penn State's still number one. And if you watch the Justin Colbert special episode, you saw Stanford go down. Well, they lose again today to USC. Over our bye week, we got to have that happen. That means that this conference could come down to us, Oregon, and Cal. And we face Cal in the last game of the year. Could that game become a division championship? We'll have to see what happens in week 13 next time, but we should have Brandon Warren back, especially with that extra week to get healthy over the bye. Against Hawaii, I just want to come out and play our game, nothing too special. 
Let's attack them with the ground game and see if they're able to stop it. We'll take the same approach with our man coverage. We'll just send four, play man to man, and if you can beat that, we'll adapt. I'm not sure exactly how much Brandon Warren is going to play, though he is questionable. I would like to play him if he's healthy enough, but if there is some risk, maybe we do play Phillips again. We'll just have to see come game day. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's going to do it for week 11. Hope you enjoyed this episode and the Justin Colbert special that I posted yesterday. Definitely a fun one to watch if you haven't already. Please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel, and I'll be seeing you with more Kalispell Warhawk football soon. Have a great day.